Hey, did I ever tell you about that time when I saved a baby from a burning building and there was a bear? There was a burning building and a bear. Yeah. Yeah, see what happened was I heard this baby crying in the, in the distance, right? And, and I just ran in there, you know, just ran in through the flames, obviously not caring about my own safety. And then I grabbed the baby and jumped out because um, it was the second story. Jumped out, landed, baby safe. But then this bear Wait, coming towards me. Yeah. How did you survive? Well, hang on, I'll, I'll get to that bit. Because this bear was no. gonna come and get me. How do you survive the jump? I've seen you two Australian uncle crossing the street. Well, because on on this occasion, I landed in something soft. So. What did you land in? So, this bear was gonna come get me, right? And uh, landed in something soft, obviously. It was, um, jam. Oh. Yeah, it was a, uh, a big barrel of jam that I landed in. It was actually a jam factory that was on fire. Probably what attracted the bear. Right. Yeah. So, have I even told you about this story? The burning building baby jam factory incident? Shoot. No? no. Yeah? Classic. So I landed, baby safe. And then this bear was coming towards me, right? This big lumbering eating machine, you know? Kind of like that happy lass over there. What? Sleepy, small, ugly girl? Well, how do you know? She's not happy. How can you tell? What do you mean? Look at her. She's a loser. She doesn't have to be a loser just because you said. I mean, she could be the world's greatest poet. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad example. She probably is a loser. But what I mean is she doesn't have to be just because you said... Okay, well, what about this guy here? What do you see when you look at this guy here? Tall, angry Lebanese guy. Right. Hi. Well, don't. He's look. Okay. Look, he's got a briefcase and and he's in a hurry. All right. He's probably on his way to some important meeting. He's probably this high-powered businessman. You see more than I do. That's because you don't look. Okay. All right. All right. Look at these two. Tell me what you see when you look at these two here. Two nerdy losers in hats. Yep, mm-hmm. Um, good observation skills, but what I mean is try and look beyond just their appearance. I mean, look at them, they're holding hands. They're in love. Hey, do me. I mean, just, what do you see when you look at me? Well, you're pretty. Uh, yes. And you have a wonderful smile. Yeah, but that's what everyone sees. I'm not dumb. You are the sweetest. And the most... The most caring person that... I've ever met. And you've got this little freckle just there. Which I never told you how much I laugh. You know, I usually smile, but sometimes you sit in bed eating and crying and eating and crying. You hold someone's hand after their mum. You are... You are the most wonderful person that I have ever met. Now what do you see when you look at me? You're chubby and you have a snub nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about it. You're smart. You're kind. You're the sweetest man I've ever met. You're definitely the most interesting person I know. You're fun to be with and you see the world in a way that nobody else sees the world. And I like the way you see the world. And you're my best friend. You make me happier than anyone I've ever known.
Then why can't we be together? Because of the whole genetics thing. It'll affect kids with snub noses. It's a shame that being rich and famous doesn't change your genetics. Because I love you. Does being rich and famous change your genetic material? No. No, it doesn't. Our kids would be little fat things with snub noses.